Welcome back for week three of Football Friday. We start, of course, with the War of 204. Wabonzi Valley looking to build on a win over Glenbard North on the road at Nequa Valley. After a trio of early field goals from Steven Ruiz, Nequa gets a huge play just before halftime as quarterback Jake Eskoff lofts a pass up to Patrick Hoffman who goes 98 yards to the house. What may be the longest play in Wildcat history puts the team up 16 zip at the break. Wabonzi gets a spark offensively in the third as Tanner Westwood hooks up with Eric Esch for 22 yards near midfield. But on the very next play, Bryce Logan can't handle the pitch. Trevor Tesman scoops up the loose ball, breaks the Westwood tackle, and takes it in 46 yards for the touchdown. Wildcats up 23-0 and would improve to 2-1 on the year after a 29-7 crosstown win. Another cross-city matchup sees Matia Valley travel to Naperville Central. Redhawks already up 7-0 in the first. Peyton Thorne slips out of pressure and finds Tommy Coyne in a crowd. 14-0 Central. In the second quarter, Thorne, again under a lot of pressure, is forced to improvise, and he finds his fellow former Mustang, Jaden Reed, who slips into the end zone. Redhawks looking to run away with this one. But the Mustangs have some tricks up their sleeves. Jarrett Despot throws a lateral to Michael Brown, who finds a wide open Kevin Da Silva, who takes it all the way in for the score. Matia down 28-7. But Central's offense was unstoppable all night long. Danny Hughes in for the injured A.J. Dinehart. He runs in one of his two touchdowns. Red Hawks win big. Naperville North celebrating senior night in its home opener against Wheaton North. Both teams hoping to remain undefeated on the early season. Jumping to the second half, Sam Singleton of Wheaton North takes it in from four yards out. We're all tied at 22. Late in the third, Drake Davis continues to connect with Nick Calcagno. The second TD of the night for the duo puts the Huskies back up 29-22. In the fourth, it's Davis to Calcagno once again. Four touchdowns on the night for Davis, three of them to Calcagno. Ryan Lorenzo also adds seven catches of his own for 122 yards as the Huskies move to 3-0 with a 43-25 win. To the ESCC, Bennett Academy welcoming undefeated Marion Central Catholic to Benedictine University. Bennett gets the ball first and makes a 10-play, 80-yard drive capped off by a 14-yard touchdown pass from Matt Boyle to Ben Cooney. Red Wings up 7-0. Bennett showing off a suffocating defense all night. On the first MCC drive, Connor Reed intercepts the pass and takes it 14 yards the other way. BA up 14-0 early. Late in the first half, Matt Boyle with a tough run, 22 yards to pay dirt to put the game out of reach. Bennett moves to 2-1 with the shutout victory. The Red Wing defense was the story of this one, picking off five interceptions and also blocking a punt. We have movement atop the East Suburban Catholic standings. Nazareth knocks Notre Dame from the unbeaten ranks, moving into a first place tie with Marist. Bennett stays in a four-team logjam at 2-1. The Week 4 schedule sends Bennett to St. Viator, while Marion Central Catholic hopes to hand Marist its first loss of the season. The DVC has the District 203 schools alone on top at 3-0. Lake Park and Wheaton North both slip in Week 3, allowing Nequa Valley to move into a tie for third. Next week's schedule has Naperville North looking to stay perfect against a tough Lake Park team. Wabonzi Valley plays host to Naperville Central as the Warriors hope to avoid falling to 1-3. Don't forget to check in to nctv17.com for the full highlights of all of our Week 3 games, and we'll see you back after Week 4. For Football Friday, I'm Justin Cornwell.